Hello, and welcome back to the Divine Beast Cave of Dark Cloud. Today, we're going through Floor 2, because it's the second episode. Last time we went through Floor 1 and had a million tutorials. Today, I don't think we have any tutorials. We'll see in a moment. We do not have tutorials. We have this instead. Huh? What's a cat doing down here? It saw me. And it ran away. Well, good to know animals hate me immediately. Oh well. Let's head in. And immediately we find the worst enemy on the early floor. So, poison. Yeah. <laughs> As I said, bats can poison you. Just use the antidote on yourself and you'll be fine. Uh, Square, while you're in the inventory, will sort through your items. So it'll sort your items for you. Come over here and get that. Alright, let's see what we've got in these two outlines. First one gives us... The Annex Room. That was the uh, expansion to his room that he wanted from last episode. And we also get... A Road. We get five more pieces of road. Whenever you get, like, a road or... Uh, I think... The, yeah, a, a, any of those, like, road trees or... Um, other thing? The river. Uh, you get five of them. So, it's nice. K Komacho is Macho's brother. So, we'll be able to fully rebuild, rebuild their house very quickly. And I got another prickly. Dang, those things are worth quite a bit of money when you sell them. This guy is... Just run up to him and hit him. Don't let him attack. <laughs> so, the, the fourth thing that I forgot to tell you about when, that can show up on floors is this. Touch it, and... Well, this is what happened this time. This is what happens often, actually. That it, this is the most common outcome, is you get uh, a status effect called Stamina. Stamina increases the damage you deal, decreases the damage you take, and slightly increases your movement speed. So it's a really, really nice status effect. <laughs> this door requires a bone key. We don't have one yet because I found a treasure chests. We haven't found any, so... I'm gonna have to go find it, and open the door. Stamina, however, does not last very long. So, I was glad to be able to use it on the one enemy I was. Let's see what's in this treasure. We found the bone key that I was talking about. That makes my life easier. Oh gosh, don't let him hit me. So, bats have the lowest attack power, and have the lowest HP. But, they are quite fast, and can poison you. So... That's why they're the worst enemies, because they hit me the most often. Most other enemies I'm able to take out before they even swing at me. Except for one that we're going to find later in the dungeon that is much, much worse than that. For multiple reasons. Alright. Now, stop jumping away from me! <laughs> hey, we can leave. Alright. Now then, back to what I was about to explain which was um, the speed meter down in the bottom corner. I will explain that immediately after taking out the million bats that seem to be here. Actually, I can explain it right now because I have to go upgrade my weapon. Um, the speed meter is, uh, is basically your combo meter. The, um, what it does... Come here. Ow! Okay, I am poisoned. And I don't have an antidote. This is quite possibly the worst situation to be in. So, first thing, I want to kill the bat. Second thing, these things that I didn't get to explain last floor because they don't appear there. If you walk into it, you get fully healed. And, uh, except it doesn't cure status effects. So it fully heals your health and your water. Meter. Now, what you can do is just stand here until the poison effect wears off. It does wear off, it just takes a million years to do so. So I'm going to cut... Well, actually, I can explain the speed meter while we're waiting. The speed meter... Oh, well, I actually can't explain it right now. Anyway, I'll, I'll explain it right now. So speed meter, every time you attack, it goes down. And once you do a full combo, it empties. So... If you try to start attacking before it's full, you will not be able to do a full combo. Before, before you just stop attacking. 
I, I, I just kept... It, you can spam X as long as your speed meter's full and you'll do a full combo. So, if your speed meter is not full, you can't do a full combo and you'll... The, the last few hits of a combo do more damage. That's really it. Anyway, I will see you once Poison wears off in a moment. Well, <clears throat> while I'm waiting, actually, while I'm waiting for it to just wear off, might as well go open the tre treasure chests that are in here. Just saw that. Let's see, we got an ice gem. I mean, if one of them is an antidote, antidote, then I can just heal it immediately. I doubt it, though. This is probably, yep, the magic crystal, which shows you the locations of all enemies, Atla, and treasure chests on the map. So, it's nice. Let's see what we got from the Atla. We got a llama. Okay, sure. And then let's go open this outlet over here. So, poison really drains your health. A candy box, yay! So, yeah, poison drains your health kind of quickly, and I'm pretty sure it can kill you. So, make sure it's you, you don't have it when you're exploring the floor. I will see you once it wears off, this time for real. Alright, I may have been wrong about the poison wearing off thing, so what I'm thinking is that we're going to just leg it. We're going to try and just grab the Atla, maybe the treasure chest if we can, not do any fights, and then get back here. Let's go! And if I need to use bread, that's fine. But I'm hopeful... I'm hopeful that I can make it without just collapsing. I mean, losing the losing the money is not the problem. The problem is just losing time. So, uh, bone key. Let's use it and hurry up. And, uh, and, uh, running. So, also, poison does a percentage of your health and damage. It's a really strange percentage, but it is a percentage. So, the more health you have, the more HP you lose from poison. I'm not even sure what the percentage is, but... Eh, it, it's 2 when I have 70. That's all I know right now. I don't want to fight you right now because I can't take hits. Um, I hear things... Th this might be the enemy that I was talking about that's worse... ...than... ...the bat. Skyhunter's nice. Ouch! Okay, well, that's not good. Yamich, go away. I don't know what the heck you are. Alright, we got the last Atla, which is Barbell, the, th the last thing he wanted, and now we run. Now we run. We're, we're, we're just running. Can we make it? I don't think we can. We're probably going to need to heal. If I get down to 5 HP, I'm going to heal myself. 11, 9, 7, and I'm healing. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> I have three bread, so I guess it's not that bad. So, yeah. Bread heals 50. Some items later heal more. Because... So, when I did say my, the character doesn't level up, he doesn't level up from fights. He does gain stats from other things, though. So, let's use the key and run away! <laughs> Oi. I have made mistakes. Well, let's get out of this dungeon. Back to the village so that we can continue rebuilding it. Now, once you leave the dungeon, you get fully healed of any status effects and such. So, pond cannot be placed next to rivers, and is the fishing area of, the, of this town. Um, because it's the fishing area, it's going way over here in the corner because I don't care about it. Another thing I'm going to do is just place some more roads. I did not mean to place that road there. Move the road over here. There we go. And that's all we could do this time, except we, could we can place the annex room, the barbell, and Camacho. And now we can go talk to Camacho, wherever the heck he is right now. Probably in his house, because it's all nighttime and everything. Camacho, you're here! 
Thank you, Tracking. Say, what happened on the day of the festival, anyway? I remember a light flash from the sky, and the houses disappeared, and after that, I don't remember a thing. So, how do I rebuild your house? A fence and a lamp. We had, any, we had stuff any decent per person would have, you know? Yeah, I kind of could assume that, but it's better to ask, you know, just to make sure. So, they had a fence and a lamp. Once the house is completed, you're able to uh, go into the house. Uh, sometimes it depends on time of day or whatever, but this one does not matter. You can go in at any time, and we get... Oh, Triking, you've done it! Thanks to you, our house is back to normal again! Here, this is for you. Keep it. Stone. Hey, that's mine! Hey, bro! What do you think you're doing? Like I always tell you, what's yours is mine, what's mine is mine. That's how things between big brothers and little brothers should be. Arr, I can't take this anymore, bro. We're gonna settle this with a battle. Oh, really? Ready when you are. And I did not mean to do this. I just wanted to. Okay. I I didn't even. I, I just got an item and they started beating each other up. <laughs> oh. Well. Let's head back. Get another. So I don't usually get poisoned twice on the same floor. <laughs> I just got really unlucky. <laughs> oh well. Let's go get a refill on the items. This is another thing that can happen. It's slightly annoying when it does. Whenever the time changes, the people change where they are, so it has to do a little cutscene to change the location. Anyway, let's repair the weapon. Refill water. And get get more stuff. And after that, I will see you all next time. When we head in and do floor three. I will see you all then.